Welcome to MSC Industrial. This is Larry, the Machinery Guy. Today, the purpose of this video is to how to measure a DRO for a milling machine. We're going to cover all three axes or four axes of the mill. And what I've done is I've positioned my X axis all the way over to the far extreme. I put a witness mark here at that far extreme. We don't want to expose the ways. The purpose of that, or the reason for not exposing those ways, is sometimes chips get stuck in there because it is oil-based, and that will damage those ways. So I have a mark here. That's my far travel. Now I'm going to move it all the way over because I have a. And we're going to measure the difference of the two. Also remember that the stroke or the table size has nothing to do with the stroke of the DRO. Never just go by the table size as far as trying to obtain a DRO. Always use the measurement like we're going through now. So I have my one witness mark here, one on the other side, and we're going to measure the distance of the two. And that comes out to approximately 30 inches. So now we need a 30 inch scale on the x-axis. Next, what we're going to do is go to the y-axis. I've done the same thing. I have my table pulled all the way out forward, made my witness marks here, full stroke, and then I'm going to crank that in to its farthest travel on the inside. Now, a power feed on the y-axis is not going to affect your travels whatsoever. All right, so that's fully in the back. I have my witness mark here. And we know that strokes approximately 12 inches. So x-axis 30, y-axis 12. Next, what we're going to do is the z, or the up and down. So same thing. I have I placed witness marks over here on the side. So I know where my furthest bottom travel is. Now I'm going to raise that table up to see what the max up travel is. Now I'll hit a dead stop in the top. Okay. Same thing, we have our two witness marks. We're gonna measure the distance that that just traveled. And here we have 16 inches. Last one we're gonna cover is the quill. Right up here, that's our quill travel. And that's real simple. Top to bottom is five inches, and that's what we'd use. So, another thing to be careful of when you're looking for a DRO, understand the measuring length and the overall length of scales are going to differ. Please refer to the MSC website to get those exact differences between manufacturers. We really appreciate your time today. Hopefully, this was helpful. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.